Hey guys, it's me Courtney from Know Your Produce and today I'm gonna to be showing you an update in the green stock. About a little over two days, over three weeks in the green stock. Everything is growing great. We fertilized it last week. We are super excited to actually start getting back into the kitchen and cooking. You guys are enjoying our avocado, how to pick out an avocado video. We're so thrilled about that. So more videos like that coming soon. Um, I've just been super busy with the kids um, and our garden. So we're showing you the garden, but I gotta go chase this little one. So we'll see you soon and hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> So here's our three and a half week update on our green stalk. It is growing great. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Super thrilled how well it's doing. Um, here we start off with our green fingers. We have our first tendril right here. Uh, we have some ants as well. Lots of little critters in here. Um, mostly beneficial. We haven't had any issues with any major bugs yet. It also is fall crops that we're growing, so we shouldn't get too much issue, especially with zucchini, hopefully. Um, this is our biggest green finger so far, looking absolutely beautiful. And then we have two, three, and four. Um, I noticed the ones on either side here are doing the greatest. I do try to rotate the green stalk, which is super easy to do, just a little spin since I have the spinner base, just to make sure everything is getting beautiful and even sun. Um, now we have our beans here. We have the regular container bush beans right here, two of them. Then we have our zucchini looking great. This is a container variety that I bought from Renee's. Another one, I planted two of those. Um, in hindsight, I really should have put one on each side. We'll see how it goes. I may need to like prop it up against here. That's all our um, berry bushes. Um, just in case it gets too heavy, I don't want this to topple. We have our purple beans. You can really see all the purple stems and vines growing. Um, another purple beans. And then I think we're back to the bush beans, yeah. So, and then here we did, this wasn't three and a half weeks ago. This was about uh, maybe a week, week and a half. This is romaine. And then we also have some butterhead. You can really tell the difference. This is a little bit longer. This is a little bit more soft. Um, and then let's get down here. This is all doing great. These shelling peas took the longest to germinate, but we've had 100% germination with Renee's garden, which I'm thrilled about. We did have a little bit of issue with the broccoli. It wasn't growing as big as I wanted. And we had a pepper plant here that was in question. We ripped that pepper plant out and we put this broccoli in. The beets are growing. I really don't know if this impacted it, but I'm pretty sure we had a rainstorm <laughs> after I planted the beets and I had planted them, uh, you know, further apart, but unfortunately it looks like they, uh, bunched up over there. I may put another one right here. It can't hurt. Um, here we have our snap peas. Yeah. Snap peas looking good. And then here is another broccoli we transplanted. We had two broccoli plants. Um, this, this was the one that looked a little bit better. The other one was just too tiny. Like I said, I did not expect too much because we did not start them indoors. We started them pretty late. So I did want to see how we do with some actual um, starter plants instead of seedlings. I kept one seedling, the one that was looking better because I want to really see how well it grows. Um, and then we're back to our shelling peas and our marigolds haven't really changed too much. They're just, just green still. So, so far we're really loving the growth. Oh, look, a little tendril. Oh, um, and then here's another little update. We have our carrots here. They're looking great. Um, we have a little cluster here that we'll probably have to thin out. I'm debating, um, making another pot of carrots, but We'll see how this grows first before we go ahead and do more. I do have high hopes, but we don't know until you pick them out, unfortunately. And then I had some more starter plants of the broccoli that I didn't want to waste. Um, that's a dead leaf I'll have to prune, um, but everything is looking great so far, especially in the green stalk. I am just wowed and really impressed with this so far. It's super easy to manage, and I just love how easy it is to take care of. What are you? <laughs> um, 
we didn't prune back our strawberries. Um, not yet at least. I should have done that, but we had every bearing and I was still getting some, so I wasn't going crazy. Look, I have some runners. I got to clip those off. And yeah, everything's doing pretty much awesome, except for I do want to maybe put another beets on the side here just because of that rainstorm. I think it definitely impacted it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our update. Everything is growing great and we'll keep you posted. We can't wait till we can actually harvest some stuff from the green stock, which is going to be super exciting.